Hey everybody, welcome back to Oddly Satisfying, brought to you by our sponsor, the like button, which I'm sure you will be oddly satisfied if, if you click it or, or tap it. So you should do that. Let's start off with number 19, this world record 1.82 second pit stop in Formula One. Wait, 1.82 seconds? They've done that? What, is this recent? Did I, did I miss this? Please, F1, do not copy strike me. Watch the full F1 races, they're, they're pretty cool. This is not a substitute for watching the full F1 race. Oh my God, 1.82 seconds. Usually in the low threes is considered like pretty decent. I didn't know they got into the low twos, let alone under two seconds. That's crazy, bro. That's like 500 times faster than it would be for me to change one fully prepped wheel and tire set on my car to another. Well, not even the full full set would take ages. I'm just talking like, take one, jack up the car, gotta freaking get the gigantic breaker bar and put all my body weight into it because it's like 400 foot pounds torqued onto a center lock at least, if it's one of the center lock ones and then replace the, th it would take a while. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it so quickly. It's, it's nuts, it's wild, it's crazy. Oh my goodness. Hydro dipping at its best. Is this one of the ones where they're doing the print? It's like doing one of the, you know, the army helmet things. Oh, it's so slow. It's so slow and methodical. The thing that's so crazy though is like, you have to reset the pool every time. Oh my God, that's actually so cool. It's not just like a camo design. It's straight up a, it's a Dragon Ball print. What? Okay, that's really cool. I saw that there were letters and stuff that were in that there, but how do you do, how do you, what? How do you get the paint floating in the water to maintain the design perfectly and then come out so crisply on whatever the product is? Is that supposed to be a bike fender? That's kind of what it looks like. That's so sick. That's gnarly. Visualized theory of probability. Oh, oh, it's like the, it's, it's a, a bell curve that's kind of, oh, that's actually really cool. I thought, thought that the, I thought that the outline of the bell curve was just like something that was going to divert all the stuff over to the sides. And I was like, yeah, of course, if you divert the things, it's going to go into the very, oh, that's great. Oh, you can just keep doing it. And it always sort of lands according to the bell curve. But if you do this like a trillion times, then won't you like eventually get one where it does like a completely even distribution, like all of the different stacks end up the same. Couldn't you theoretically have that over enough iterations of trying it? You could get some really weird outliers. I think that was a perfect loop. We probably watched it twice, but do it for another billion years and see what happens. And then maybe if you do it for enough billions of years, life will just start forming out of that thing. <laughs> you never know. The very satisfying filling of these jars. Ooh, that looks good. Is that ice cream or is that like whipped cream with chocolate and caramel? Mmm. Can I have some dessert? Oh man, now I want some dessert. Oh boy. Ooh, that's looking good. It's looking perfect. That looks, it reminds me of Ben and Jerry's salty caramel core and I haven't had it in too long and I want it. A blanket dancing in the wind. Okay, this is some haunted Halloween stuff right here. What the frick? It's perfectly, what? Oh my God. No, there's gotta be someone there. This is a magic trick. Either that or this is some CG. Composited very well. The light matches perfect. It's astonishingly realistic. And then you got a lot of upvotes on Reddit. It was like an entire career in animation and compositing and, and dynamics. Also, you get some Reddit upvotes. Now I'm on to you. Paint Stripper does a perfect job. Is the paint just gonna like... What the heck? Okay, that can't just... What? That's gotta be like a special kind of, of paint. Because I don't think if I applied Paint Stripper to my wall, if the paint would just be like, oh, I, I'm out. And then I'd just be able to scrape it off. It's gotta be like a certain kind of paint that's been applied over a metal surface to where, but if you did that, if you did that on a car, probably not recommended, unless you wanna really wreck your car, but would it, would it work that way? Would you just be able to scrape, it's like a balloon. It's like the paint is just, it's, it's a balloon that's chilling on there and then the balloon deflates. I mean, that's really cool, but I wanna know the specific criteria for it. Non-sticky situation. Oh, what the heck? Oh my God. Oh, I love this. Oh, it looks so soft and fluffy, but it's like, instead of 
hydrophilic or hydrophobic, it's like skinophobic. Why doesn't it get on you at all? Oh my goodness. I wish to only have it be like a person. I, I wish to have it personally. I don't wish for this to be in a public environment where many people can interact with it because can you imagine all the dirt and stuff that people would just get trapped inside of it that you'd be uh, experiencing anyway. Like if you threw your entire body in there, I assume if you laid on your back, you'd float, but I'm very terrified to know if you would get trapped in there and that would be the end of you. You'd be stuck and you would unalive and that wouldn't be great. Yep. A transformer that transforms on its own. Oh yeah, I saw this. I think I saw it on Twitter, actually. But ye, yeah, dude. Optimus Prime Autobots. Roll out. I can't do the cool voice. I want to. All of my inner world. It all... I aspire to be able to do Autobots. Roll out, but I can't. Hopefully it's the sound effect to go with it. Weave effect on painting. It already looks pretty cool, but we're, I guess we're not done yet. I mean, how do you like know what to keep adding? Cause it already, it's so, it's so slick looking already. It's a very pretty painting. All right, we got, we got some like black square. It's gonna, oh, now I see. Oh, okay. It didn't look as cool before and now it looks, now it's pretty cool. Okay, now I get it. Now I, I was like, the, just the black squares really weren't doing it for me, but now I get it. It did look cool on its own in the beginning, though, but yeah, very, very swick. It's just, I like that abstract style, too. I'd, I'd be about that. Cutting a frozen cherry. Did you know they did surgery on a grape? Oh, is it going to be like little micro slices and stuff? Man. Just that Michelin three-star dessert prep right there. They put that much effort into just slicing a cherry. That teeny tiny little cherry into teeny tiny little slices. Ooh, there's the pit. The pit's coming. The pit's coming. Oh, never mind. It stopped before the, the pit. But oh yeah, dude. You see that? That's that's. Ooh, that's gonna go in a classy dessert right there for sure. This cat really enjoys snow shoveling. <laughs> the cat's okay as long as the water is in solid form. But you keep, you keep in contact with that snow, it's gonna melt, and then you're gonna live to regret it. Also, Cat really doesn't like helping with snow shoveling. Cat likes getting in the way and attacking the snow shovel and risking actually getting injured when it gets pinched between the snow shovel and the ground. The owner's like, this is great for the sake of a video. I'm sure the internet will love it, but now, after we're done, can you please go back inside? I don't want to hurt you while I'm trying to shovel the snow. This is really annoying. I have no idea how someone can even accomplish this level of detail. Is this like the step-by-step -step process of doing some kind of crazy sculpture? Is it? Is that actually stone? Oh my god, the individual lines on the face. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty gnarly. What the heck? Yeah, I've I've seen uh, people like discussing on on I don't know Reddit, other places on the internet how. Why was it that people were so good at doing like stone sculptures hundreds of years ago back during the Renaissance? And the responses are, no, actually there are people who like still are really good at doing that, just as good. It's just that it's, it's not as like widely looked at. People don't really look at the newer arts as much as they do the stuff that was in the Renaissance and Michelangelo and that sort of thing. But dang, people still got it. That's crazy. How do you make it so that like solid stone looks soft and human and realistic and I don't get it. Making a seating chart mirror by hand. What is a seating chart mirror, by the way? This is a very lengthy thing. Is this a, oh, it's, is it actually like it's a seat? It's, it's actually a seating chart so that the kids know where they're supposed to sit in class. Okay, never mind. Not a, wait. Oh my God, wait, this is so topical. I was thinking of classrooms, but no, this is like for a wedding. I actually just went to a wedding and they had a seating chart mirror. What? Never tell me the odds. Is this a thing that people usually do? Is it the trend that you put the seating chart on a mirror? Because this is the first time I'd seen it. Granted, I haven't been to that many weddings, but they hate, they, they hate, they have that. This is what I, yeah, the, what? Okay. You know what? This is, this is one of those situations where this would only happen after I have seen a seating chart mirror at an actual wedding, right? If I hadn't 
been to the wedding and seen this, this wouldn't have appeared. It's the thing where you hear about something for the first time and then you start seeing it elsewhere, which is definitely not just confirmation bias. It's definitely a real, it's a real thing. The seating chart mirror. Okay. Spray painting a garage door blue. I like garage doors because usually inside of the garage, there's things that are that are pretty cool. It's not so much the garage door itself, but what it contains. In fact, I kind of want the garage door to get out of the way because it might have cool stuff in it, unless it's just full of boxes and storage and then they park the cars up front. <laughs> That's a pretty common thing too. Garage, not so much for cars. It's it's more for a lot of boxes that we never, we didn't throw away. Like we might need this box for this computer at some point, throw it in the garage. Oh, it's still there after 10 years and we never used it? Okay. It's my dad's garage. <laughs> my dad has like a four car garage, but they, they didn't like park any of their cars in it. <laughs> I don't think they do. He might park one of the, one of, like he has a car and his wife has a car. Uh, my stepmom, I think one of them goes in the garage. But it's mostly just stuff, a lot of tools and some boxes and things like that. Japanese rolled omelet. I'm just, I like, I like watching the cooking. All right, cool. We got, we got some nice eggies going on the grill there. Mmm, a little bit of seasoning. What is that? I want to know what that is. Is that like a, okay, not like nice cuts. Ooh, nice cuts right there though. That's, that's, oh yeah, that's elegant. What's, uh, what is that? Is it like some tuna tartare or something? I can't tell. Wait, are you just rolling it with, it has nothing in it. The left one had nothing in it though. Hold it, but, but, it, but well, what, it's, what kind of omelet is it? It's just, is that, don't omelets usually have things like that? The second one has stuff in it. Oh, he's gonna cut it. It's kind of gonna be like, it's a little sushi roll-esque. Okay, and it actually has something in it, but, but the other one, it's just, just egg. I'm kind of unsatisfied. Is that normal? I've never seen an omelet listed on a menu at a restaurant that was just, and what kind of omelet is it, waiter? Well, you see, it's actually just, just the egg. We just roll it. Doesn't have anything inside it, but we roll it like it does have things inside it. All right, maybe it's just really high quality egg. It could be really high quality egg, perhaps. Or I'm just completely out of touch and people are like, this is a normal thing, what do you want about? I just don't order omelets very much. Silicone rolling machine. The lavender you want is purple. Yeah, yeah, lav lavender is purple. Yeah, yeah I, it's okay. <laughs> Thanks for the caption. I see. So it's a it's a thing that like combines the colors together, and then it ends up creating a the the color that you want. It starts off patriotic, and then it ends up being lavender, purple, according to the caption. Okay, we just want to. Okay, we can fast forward along. They're blending. They're blending a little bit more, and then they just keep blending. I don't know why, like, why the cut, though? Why did it cut, and then it sticks back in, and then and then it gets more and more purple? Okay. Oh, I guess she just, like, cuts it in order to... in order to be able to, like, you know, get it to blend more once it gets stuck in again. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. Pretty uniform color there at the end from... From the lavender you want is purple, not looking very lavender, to pretty lavender. Very nice. The clarity of this Alaskan river. That's very, wow, that's really clear. Oh man, that's like snorkeling in Hawaii, except it's really probably super cold here. <laughs> very unpleasant. Don't actually go in the river, just let the camera do the, the looking, because you'll get hypothermia real quick. But wow, isn't that nice and clear and pretty? It'd be cool to be able to snorkel. If it wasn't extremely freezing. This boiled egg that came out looking like an astronaut waving their arm. <laughs> this is great. This, this is, you see, this is more mildly interesting versus oddly satisfying. I feel like we had the person who did the cable wrap. That was in my, in mildly interesting that belonged here. And this is more mildly interesting. It's like, hey. Don't eat me, please. I'm friendly and nice. And the top for the last month of Oddly Satisfying, I was asked to remove the ex-wife as this was the only nice photo they had with their grandparents. It's awkward. <laughs> oh, God. Remove arrow. All right, dude. I, this is actually interesting for the sake of, like, 
thumbnails and stuff and isolating from that. Oh, man. Ooh, nice, nice. But then you gotta make, yeah, but then you, yeah, it looks too duplicated if you do the flowers and stuff. Oh, geez. Oh my God, copying the legs over. Making the deck look proper. I feel, oh, adding some ambient occlusion. That's a nice touch. I feel like, dang. I feel like part of the impressive part here is actually them just having filmed and made this into a really short, digestible clip. Because it obviously took a lot longer and there was probably some trial and error on various things, but to just have it be super concise of, of all the steps with no back and forth, that's almost just as impressive. Look at that, uh, look at the little ambient occlusion right there that's added at the end. Yeah, yeah, see the shading with the ambient occlusion? Oh, that's pretty cool. No one could even tell the difference unless they looked really carefully and they were like, wait a minute. Those shoes look pretty similar. <laughs> All right, that's it for the last month of Oddly Satisfying. Make sure to like if you like, subscribe to our notifications by hitting the bell, check the playlist if you want to catch more Oddly Satisfying, or click on the end screens. And that's it. I'll see you next time.